Thanks so much for being with us on this election night. Very exciting. The results Indeed. are coming in and uh, starting to call some races right now. We're going to start with the governor's race. That's right. Do we want to go to the numbers? Or we understand Jared Polis is at the podium claiming victory as Colorado's next sure governor. Every child, regardless of the zip code they grow up in, is a great education beginning with full day kindergarten. Today, I, d I talked with Republican Representative Jim Wilson of Salida to discuss the first stages of putting in place bipartisan support for full-day kindergarten for every child in Colorado. I also want to take a moment to acknowledge where we are and how we got here. You know, tonight, right here in Colorado, we proved that no barrier should stand in the way of pursuing our dreams. We prove that we're an inclusive state that values every contribution, regardless of someone's sexual orientation or gender identity. And for the LGBTQ pioneers for equality and the generations before me who endured so much hardship and hurt to make it possible for so many of us, myself included, to live and to love openly and proudly. And to the people right here in this room, I want to say I'm profoundly grateful for all the work we've done to overcome. Thank you. From my great grandparents who came to this country penniless, fleeing persecution as Jews in Eastern Europe, and managed to forge an amazing American way of life for their kids and grandchildren to survive. We are still that country providing opportunity for the next generation and the next generation. You know, I am so proud to be here with Diane Primavera, who is a fighter for the right reasons. And we will partner with Diane Primavera and all of you to save Coloradans, individuals, and small businesses money on health care, and we won't give up until no Coloradan has to worry about choosing between their life and their home. And you know what? We're going to do this all together as a team. From the Western Slope to the Eastern Plains, to Southern Colorado, to the Front Range, Republicans, Independents, Democrats, Greens, Libertarians, and those Coloradans who chose not even to vote. Because you know what? All too often in campaigns, people see it falsely as a zero-sum game. Us versus them. One wins, the other loses. But you know what? For this transition, and as we move into governing, we're going to show that we can all win together. I want us all to win, and tonight is the beginning of that incredible journey for our state. And I want to thank our amazing, my personal support network. First uh, and foremost, of course, uh, my amazing partner and the first first man in the history of Colorado, Marlon Reef. I. I also want to thank my amazing parents, Susan Pola Schutz and Stephen Schutz, my great, my great kids, my cousins, my friends, and most of all our volunteers, whether it's Andy in Lakewood, who worked tireless shifts and hours, Carla in Arapahoe County, and so many others, over 4,000 volunteers across this state. Give yourselves a round of applause. And of course, pulling it all together, our campaign chair and our campaign manager, Lisa Kaufman and Jen Ritter. I want to thank my constituents in Colorado's amazing second congressional district in Northern Colorado. And congratulations, Northern Colorado and the mountain country on electing a terrific new congressman, Joe Nagoose. And, and thank you all for showing that Colorado voters believe in unity and believe that we're all in this together. 
families that have been in our state for thousands of years as part of our Native American tradition, to mem people who arrived as Spanish settlers 500 years ago, to people who arrived a month ago from Mexico or from China. You are all part of our great state. And you know what? Tonight we celebrate, and tomorrow we roll up our sleeves and get ready to work with Republicans, independents, Democrats, and all Coloradans of goodwill. Because at the end of the day, we all believe in our children's future. We all believe in our protecting our amazing parks and open space. We all believe in saving people money on health care. And together, we're going to get back to work because we have work to do to turn a bold vision into reality here in our amazing state of Colorado. Thank you, and God bless Colorado. It is a party at the downtown Denver Westin Hotel tonight, and why not? It is Democratic headquarters on this election night, and that was Colorado's new governor. Now, soon to be former Congressman Jared Polis beat Walker Stapleton tonight, the Republican. Walker Stapleton giving his concession speech a short time ago. Jared Polis just up on the stage claiming victory. Karen, you've got some numbers. Yeah, Jared Polis, 51%. There are 743,000 votes for him. Walker Stapleton, 45% there. And uh, he got in a few minutes ago, gave his concession speech, and uh, just thanked everyone in his family and all of his supporters for being there with him throughout all this. Absolutely. Another